Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter, back with another Xbox Game Pass weekly quest guide. So this week in our two weekly quests that we had for other games, we did not unlock any achievements. So if you're like me, you still need an achievement in Game Pass in order to unlock this 10 point quest. So we're gonna work on that today, unlocking an achievement in Game Pass. And additionally, in the Microsoft Rewards app, we can always click on Achieve More, Earn More to earn 50 more points whenever we earn an achievement in a game. So we're gonna do that simultaneously. And this is gonna be part 15 of our Full Throttle Remastered series, which we've had going on for quite a few weeks now. And if we take a look at the achievement tracker, we're at 30 out of the 40 possible achievements in the game. 630 out of a thousand gamer score and the very last achievement we got was the taught a lesson achievement so you should be all caught up with that if not the description will have links to all the previous 14 parts where we've worked through grabbing all of those 30 achievements so we're going to grab number 31 today and basically pick up where we left off last time so let's press a to get started and then we're going to go up to the upper right to the load screen and load up our save from last time at the demo derby pit. And we're at 69% of the game completion at this point. So we've got some tricky demo derby driving to do here. It's a, it's a little bit tricky. It takes a little getting used to. Uh, basically, use your left stick to rotate the car around. And there will be different little cutscenes that, that pop up as you're doing this. You can just skip over any of those. It's just conversations going on inside of the cars. But basically you want to try to work your way down to the lower left area of the screen where there's a ramp. You can see it just to my left now. And some of the cars will crash into you as you're trying to get over there. But just keep working your way around to this left side of the ramp. And you can see the green car is getting my way here. But once you actually get up onto the ramp, you want to make sure you rotate to where you're facing to the right. And that orange car will stop and you'll be able to go off the ramp and sort of squish the orange car. So that's going to stall the orange car, and it's just going to stay still now. Now we want to get up above it and bump it down close to the bottom of the screen. So just keep kind of smashing into it, shoving it down this way. And once we get it down a little bit below the oil spill, then we're going to go over to the left side of it, and we're going to bump it towards the right. So just take a minute, kind of rotate your car in the direction you want to be facing, and then start hitting the gas and bumping that car over towards the other ramp. There's another ramp way over here to the right side that we're going to use. So there's that ramp. So once you get it lined up with the ramp, then you can start hitting it from below. So kind of get down below the car and start bumping the orange car up onto the ramp. We're gonna shove it off of this ramp and then bounce off of its roof and onto the roof of the, I believe they're called the Boom Boys, onto the roof of their car and mess up their car. And there's some cutscenes that happen at this point. You can skip over any of these. Okay, Mo. And luckily, Ben is wearing a flame retardant suit, so he's not going to uh, burn during this, but he will, uh, he will be caught on fire. So you can see him running around the stadium. And as soon as you get control of him again, you want to basically head over to the left side of the screen. There's a sign over there that says, Can't Beat a Corley. And I mistakenly clicked on the box seats a couple of times, but try to click over on the side of the track next to the can't beat a Corley sign and you'll light the the stands on fire basically light the stadium on fire and that's what we want to do at this point in order to progress the story so we've got some more cutscenes. you can skip through any of these now there is one cutscene coming up in a minute that we want to be sure that we do not skip and i'll let you know where that one is so at this point, Ben will run up and get on top of the orange car just to kind of protect himself from the blue car now that the Boom Boys are back in business and they are in control of their car again. Now we want to try to get on top of their car. If you run out when they're not close enough, when they're not actually bashing into the orange car, 
then they will come after you and Ben will just run right back up on top of the orange car. So we'll see that here. So there he goes. He, he set foot off of the orange car and he immediately had to run back. And you want to try to get on the blue car when it's smashing into the orange car. And then you'll be able to ride on the roof of the blue car. And then you want to be sure you don't skip this cutscene. When you get close to the fire, run into the big set of flames there and the blue car will follow you. And this is the cutscene you want to watch in its entirety. Did you get him? So we'll just let this play out for a second. That means Ripburger has to make us vice presidents now, like he promised. And give us 10,000 shares of stock each. Hmm. Funny smell. What's that? The temperature light? Well. On the bright so at this point, we've got our achievement unlocked. This is the What a Pain Threshold Achievement. And the weekly quest should unlock just a moment after that. And then we've got a little bit of a conversation between Mo and Ben to work through. We'll choose what key are you talking about as the first dialogue option. And then I'll see what I can do as the second. That will end the conversation and then you'll be able to make a save at this point. So press start, go up to the save screen and save over your save from last week. And we should have 77% completion at the C-330, which I think is a plane. So we'll go ahead and hop over to the Game Pass app and turn in the weekly quest. I believe I had one other quest that I had not turned in yet. So you'll actually see 35 points instead of 10 points here, but you should have 10. And then we'll switch to the Microsoft Rewards app and we'll grab the 50 points for Achieve More, Earn More. So 60 points total for today, and that's going to do it for part 15 of the Full Throttle Remastered series. Check back in with me here on YouTube next week for part 16, and we'll get very close to the completion of this game. We just got a few more weeks left in it, I think. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.